In this demonstration we're going to look at how we can configure the kiosk mode with the Windows Configuration Designer. Sometimes in an organisation you may have a public area and in that public area you would like to have a computer so that people could access the internet and you do want to tie it down because really you don't want people getting in there and accessing your corporate system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use a utility that we get from Microsoft to allow us to actually create a device as a kiosk PC. So Microsoft have for available for download is they have the Windows and it's the assessment and deployment kit or Windows ADK and we can install that and once we get that installed we get a program called the Windows Imaging and Configuration Designer. So we'll just launch this up. When this launches up what we get is we get different sections that we can go into and configure devices based on those sections. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to come in and we're going to come to our provision kiosk devices. This will bring us in. It's going to ask us to give the project a name. So I'm just going to call this a date and reception. And then because this is a demo, what we'll do is we'll stick test on the end of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the program or put the actual thing that we're going to create here, this project, we're going to put this into this project folder. I'm not going to bother with the description, so I'll just select finish. That then loads up the settings. So now what we can do within these settings is we now have the ability to come in here and we now have the ability to start actually putting some settings in place that we can then push out to our kiosk device. So what we have at this point here is set up the device. So we just need to put some information in here. So this is our unique 15 character name for device. For help generating a unique name, we can use percentage serial percentage, which will include a hardware specific serial number, or we can use something like percent rand, and then a number which will generate random characters of X length at this point here. So for example, we've got Contoso, and then hyphen, and then we'll use the machine information, or we can do Fabricon hyphen, and then what we'll do is we'll do a random number after this of five characters. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to do reception hyphen and then the random with three characters. Not going to bother with doing anything on the network. We're fairly happy we're not using wireless. So then we'll come to account management. So in the case of account management, what we want to do at this point here is we want to enroll into Active Directory. And as part of enrolling into Active Directory, we just need to fill out domain, username and password. So what we're going to do to enroll this in Active Directory, we're going to enroll into datum.com. We're going to use username at datum backslash administrator plus the password. So after this point, we're not going to add any standard applications. We're not going to add any certificates. Perhaps we would for authentication purposes or secure applications. But what we are going to do, because this is going to be a kiosk PC, we're just going to come in and configure our kiosk account and app. So we'll just enter username and password. The other thing we could do at this level is we could enable auto sign in if we wish. I'm not going to. Further down here as well, we have the ability to configure the kiosk mode app, so we can lock down the device to use the selected app in kiosk mode. The app must be provisioned for the system or installed for the user. So what we've got here in the case of the app type, we've got universal Windows app or we've got a classic Windows app, so we'll go for universal Windows app. And what we'll just do for the user is we'll just put in the user we're going to create, which is our kiosk one user. Next thing we need to do is just generate our application user model ID for this application. So we're going to do that by coming to PowerShell. I'll just come into admin mode. And then in admin mode, all we need to do is we're going to actually set up that we're going to use Edge. So we'll just get the font a bit bigger, make it a bit easier to read. Let's go for 24. Okay, maximize this up. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just specify the apps that we're going to use. So we'll just clear the screen off, just make it a bit easier to read. We'll issue the first commandlet that we require. And all we're going to type in here is get hyphen start apps hyphen name and then edge. Now we have the app ID. All we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to highlight from the Microsoft dot Microsoft dot Edge all the way to the end and now all we need to do is we just need to copy that and once we copy that we just need to paste that into the config designer. So we've now pasted that into the application ID 
Last thing we've got here is configure our kiosk common settings so we can set tablet mode for example. We can customize user experience. Uh, we can configure power settings as well so we can do things like turn off timeout settings. Once we've done all of that, the last thing to do is once we've modified all these settings, finally come to our finish tab, read through our summary uh, at this point here. They have found some validation errors. I know where the validation errors are. We haven't set up um, a network SSID, so let's just turn that off. Let's come back to the Finish tab, and then what we can do is we can click Create. That will now build our package file. Once we have the package file, we can take that to the devices we want to use as Kiosk PCs, right-click, and then just run the application package file. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.